This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this video, I'm going to be hunting for an item that is criminally underused in Old School RuneScape for how awesome it actually looks, the Abyssal Dagger. The weapon has a very interesting spot in the OSRS meta, and its special attack is basically identical to the Dragon Dagger special attack, but it has a higher accuracy at the cost of lower max hits. Now, how are we going to go about receiving this item? Well, there are two ways in the game you can claim yourself an Abyssal Dagger. The first method is definitely not optimal, but at a staggering 1 in 32,000 drop rate, it can be looted from Abyssal D demons, requiring 85 slayer to kill. The better way, however, and how we're going to be attempting to receive one of these in the video is going to be the Abyssal Sire, the slayer boss version of the Abyssal Demons. This boss has a 1 in 100 chance to drop an item called Unsired, which then can be used on the Fountain of Consumption to receive one of these unique rewards. This effectively makes the dagger a 1 in 492 from the Abyssal Sire. Only thing we need to do before we can get into the grind towards the Abyssal Dagger or 492 kills is to get a Slayer task of Abyssal Demons, as this boss can only be defeated while on one. Oh finally, that actually took a while, 241 Abyssal Demons and I got 305,000 Slayer experience before we even got the first task, but there it is. I have sold my entire Torva set to just be able to afford the Tumic and Shadow, and this is a super good item at the Abyssal Sire, I've never used it here, but it's going to be really fun to try it out. The magic accuracy with this weapon is absolutely insane, 468 as it triples your magic accuracy and damage when you have it equipped, and for melee we have the Osmumpton's Fang and Bandle's set for the last phase. Someone in my clan just got a Bludgeon Claw, which is a piece that you get from this boss, so I guess maybe that's a good sign that we're going to get lucky as well, and let's have a look at the collection log. This is the KC I'm starting at, 893, and I've got 11 unsired so far, and the only thing I'm missing is actually the pet, so I've been pretty lucky so far, and uh, maybe we can snag the pet in this video. So let's quickly go over how a kill looks like on the Abyssal Sire with the Tumican Shadow. So first off, you need to stun the boss with a Shadow Barrage spell. I kind of mistimed it there in the beginning, but when you stun it, you have to kill four of these vents around the room. They all have 50 HP each, and with the Tumican Shadow damage, they die very quickly. And when you've killed all the four vents, you can officially attack the boss, and you want to protect melee during this phase, and basically just face tank it and attack with the Tumican Shadow. When the boss transitions into the last phase, you have to go to these two mark tiles that I have and walk back and forth between every single hit with those Mountain's Fang, because you will get poison placed under you, that you need to avoid at all costs. Eventually, the boss will teleport you close to it, and after it, it will explode, so you have to run away a bit, and uh, when it has exploded fully and the stomach is exposed, you can start attacking it and actually finish off the boss. A bunch of minions will spawn during this phase, and you can actually blood barrage off of these to get some free hit points. And finally, there it is. The boss is dead, and we get some jugs of water. Oh, did you see that? 70 max it. This weapon is wild. After this KC, we are pretty much done with the first trip, and we just hit 10 kill count. No unsired yet, but uh, it is very smooth. It's super fun to use this Tumican Shadow, and I will definitely keep this on this account even after this grind. So you know how I mentioned how killing these respiratory systems is so fast with the Tumican Shadow? Well, this is a very good example of that. So first one, I two-shot. The second one, the 100 experience drops means they are one shot, and we get two one shots in a row, and the last one, of course, is also a one shot. So that was pretty much like a 15 second respiratory system phase, which I have never seen before. And that, by the way, means that I got the combat achievement Respiratory Runner, which means only stun the boss once, aka kill all of the respiratory systems in only one round, which is actually a pretty hard achievement to get, so nice to have it. What? What is this? Air Talisman? How rare is that? That has to be one of the worst drops you can get. 44 GP. It's uh, 1 in 324 drop rates. Another one of these rare items. Two magic seeds, definitely worth quite a lot more, but that is like 1 in nearly 600, I think. Oh, no! What?! Did you see that? That was such a bait! One of the minions looked just like an Unsired on the ground. Oh my god! 
After this, I can officially start moaning and whining and all that stuff because we just hit 100kc with no unsired. So we are officially unlucky on this grind so far, but uh, maybe we will catch up on the road to 200kc. The first elite clue scroll of the grind. These are 1 in 180, so a bit more rare than the unsired unfortunately, but uh, always nice to see them. You know what? Every single guy that tells me to bring this full melee gear for just the last phase, but I feel like the Tumigan Shadow is so extremely strong and accurate. Just look at these hits. I'm going to try to just do the last phase with magic and see if I can just ditch all of these items. I mean, uh, so far it's going great. I guess I'm taking a bit more damage from these minions, but uh, with the magic gear and the staff, I can just blood barrage them and get so much HP back. So you know what? I don't even know why I bring all this gear. Maybe there's a reason for it, why every guide suggests it, but uh, I feel like this stuff is just so extremely good that it's better to just only use it. I have some good and some bad news for you guys. This is KC number 200, and the bad news is we have got absolutely no unsired at all. So it's not looking great for this challenge. Of course, I can always get lucky and catch up on the luck on the unsired and get a bunch of them back to back, but it's not looking great. Another free combat achievement coming in. They grow up too fast. This combat achievement requires you to kill the Abyssal Sire without letting any Scions mature, and that is actually pretty hard. Just requires really insane DPS. Are you guys ready to see something wild? The uh, GPU plugin that increases your draw distance allows you to sometimes see things that you really should not see. What even is this whole area? It's like a whole prison area. I have never even seen this in the game. If you guys know where this is actually from in the game, or if it's even in the game, Please let me know in the comments, because I have no idea. Oh, welcome. This is where I'd put my unsired. If I had one. There has been a new update to the game that seems to have broken a lot of things. Every single time I attack anything with my Tumic and Shadow, it just becomes invisible and I can click through them. This definitely makes the last phase quite a bit more difficult, because as I said, I can click through the things, and also if I blood barrage these, they also despawn, so anything that I attack with magic just is invisible and I can click through, and accidentally just walk through the boss and die. Turns out, by the way, that the bug that made everything despawn was actually a plugin issue with the animation smoothing, but that is now the entire first task completed, 241 kills, and we have zero unsired so far, which is very rare to me. As you saw earlier in the video, I've been very lucky at this boss, but I guess it's coming around to bite me. The Slayer skill cape gives a 10% chance to get a back-to-back -back task of what you just had, so there is a 10% chance we save a lot of time trying to get this task. Please, can we get the back-to-back? -back? We cannot. Dagonoth Kings, that is on top of it, a very annoying task. As someone who has been playing with animation smoothing for so long, it feels so weird to be forced to not use it. Just look at the difference. This is now with animation smoothing, and uh, let's have a look at how it looks without it. Oh my, it looks so laggy. It's insane, and I can't play with it because of this bug. It's actually still in the game. It's been like two, three days. A, 243 Abyssal Demons, and that means to actually hit the point that I need for all the kills, I need to use a Bracelet of Slaughter for 8 kills. Bracelets of Slaughter, of course, save 1 KC on the task sometimes, like it just did there. So I actually saved 1 KC there, and I need this bracelet to go from 12 now all the way to 5 left on it, and then I can drop it. I don't need it anymore. Oh my... What? Did you see that damage? Holy! That is the first death of the grind? Yeah, this gear is a bit risky, I guess. I guarantee that is very, very rare. Let me look it up. 1 in 1,158. At least it's pretty good value. And uh, that is it. I just saved the last kill that I need for the Bracelet of Slaughter, so we can now officially drop this. And that means every single kill left on this task is how many we have until I've hit the 492 KC mark. And we are done with the grind, 217 in total. It is with great depression I am coming here to let you guys know that this is KC number 300 of the grind. 
for some law runes and absolutely no unsired at all. We still have, of course, 192 kills left to do, so we have a decent chance of getting one, but it's not looking good. Let's actually have a look at how unlikely this is to happen. There is a 1 in 100 chance to get something with down 300 kills. We have had a 95 point nearly 1 chance of getting more than 0 drops. So there is a 5% chance basically that we have been this unlucky. Yes, let's go. We got the first unsired. Finally, I felt like this didn't even exist anymore. Finally, we get to use one of these runescape versions of loot boxes on hopefully something good all right let's get this done let's use the unsired on the font of consumption please give me something good maybe the dagger oh bro this is literally worth nothing i have like six of these in my bank and on top of that they are actually pretty rare i think they're almost three times as rare as the dagger Onyx ball tips, and we have a hundred kills left to do of the grind, aka the drop rate of another unsired, so it would be cool to see at least one more during the grind, because at this point, I feel like I deserve it. Oh, yes, 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 12 KC after 188 left to go, let's go and open it. Just anything better than the abyssal head, actually maybe not the jar either, because that's worth like nothing. Yo, we got the dagger! Yes, we won this challenge as well, another one down, and look at that. I think that is probably one of the coolest weapons in the entire game. 2.7 million GP. And it's actually worth a lot more than that, because now we do not have to give anything away. I get to keep everything. And of course, we did get an elite clue scroll during this grind, so let's go ahead and open that for... 37 what that is a next level trash tier clue scroll before we end the video when i eventually reach 50,000 subscribers on the channel i'm going to be doing a live stream here on youtube to celebrate where i will do anything to make money during the stream and at the end i will give all of it away to you guys in the falador party room as a thanks for the amazing support so if you want to see that happen faster make sure you subscribe in the last video, I took on up to 585 corporeal beasts completely solo in attempts to get one of the sigils. If you want to see that, the video will be on the screen in just a second. Until next time, guys, take care.